Sarah's dreams were in her grasp. I can assure you, sir, if you give me this opportunity, you won't be disappointed. This company is indeed lucky to have bright young people like you. A promising career. Just think, honey, in a couple of months, you'll have a glass office like me. A great boyfriend. It's going to be goodbye to the boiler room. Hello, big time. Everything seemed just perfect until... What's the accuracy of these things anyway? Her choices caught up with her. Have you told the father? It's your body and your choice. If you decide to not have it, it's best he never even knows about it. I can't have an abortion. Where does she turn for answers? We're pregnant. Are you sure? What kind of question is that, Matt? Of course I'm sure. What is the truth? A child is going to change everything. Do you really think they're going to give the Conax account to a pregnant woman? What are the consequences? What does Matt think? He's not ready for this. Is anybody ever ready to have a baby? And what does God say? You think that God still reveals himself to people through visions. I've been having these very vivid dreams that show what would happen if I don't do it. Why am I here? To see. To see what? The direction your decisions are taking you. Rebecca St. James. It seems a little late in the day for God to start caring about me and my needs. Andrea Logan White. I made my choice. You're going to have to make yours. Just make sure it's a decision that you come up with. Brad Stein. Love isn't this thing that sticks to certain people. Love's living for others. You ready to do that for Sarah? With Charlene Tilton and Dick Van Patten. You're at a crossroad and the Lord is here for you. Whatever it is that you're facing, you don't have to face it alone. You've been given the opportunity to see things from a, a divine perspective. Sarah's Joyce.